Hey guys, today we are going to take a look at a common tar fire. Now, this card is actually seeing play and I will go over the deck that it is seeing play in. It has done extremely well and it's perfect for that deck. So tar fire was 15 cents just half a month ago and now currently it is $5.75 for the anthologies one. Now you might know that the Lorwyn one, the original one, is just above $2, but this one is the least common of them. So if you wanted to play with the Pimpish version, this would probably be the Pimpish non-foil. So Tarfire, what is going on with this card? It is one red, tribal instant goblin, and you do two damage to target creature or player. So a lot of you might be asking, is this better than lightning bolt the answer is no however in the correct deck which is seeing play all over the place this is a modern deck that is taking the format by storm it is one of the cards again not reprinted not that a reprint would do very much for it anyways but when everything else in the deck is reprinted then cards that are not reprinted tend to spike in price so the deck is black green aggro uh, it is a modern deck, Fatal Puss, Collective Brutality, Traverse the Underwall, and then your Rampager, Death Shadow, reprinted, Street Wraith, Tamagoyf, reprinted, Abrupt Decay, reprinted, Battle Raids, Common, Kogan's Command, not that expensive, Free Tar Fires, 4 Inquisitions, reprinted, 4 Thoughtseize, 2 Lilies, reprinted, 4 Bobbles, Notably not reprinted. Uh, Blood Crypt, Forest, Godless Shrine, Overgrown Tomb, bunch of fetch lands and shock lands that you can read by yourself. And the sideboard, you have another Collective Brutality, Ancient Grudge, A Forsworn Canonist, Fumin Native Mage, which is one of the cards that has spiked in price, really good in the sideboard. Kataki, Liliana the Last Hope, Lingung Souls, reprinted for the 18th time. Range of Eos, even this card has been reprinted, and Surgical Extraction. So when you talk about the very big cards here, you're talking about Tamagoyf, Lily, maybe Inquisition, because now the price point of Inquisition is far less, and the Marsh Flats, as well as the four Ver Verdant Catacombs. So the entire deck pretty much took a price hit. Oh, and by the way, Death Shadow, of course, the namesake of the deck got reprinted as well. So when you're looking for cards to invest in, pretty much just that. You know, Tarfire makes a lot of sense, and because it makes a lot of sense, it has gone up 38,000%. It is a card with not too many reprints. Uh, it does have the Anthologies reprint, but that set was kind of a disaster, really. Uh, and since it was originally printed in Lorwyn, it's been reprinted in a dual deck and in anthologies, which is a reprint of the dual deck, and that's it. So this card is actually not as common as it would seem. Anyway guys, uh, leave me a comment below if you do have some of them, it might be time to start digging, because they were literally 15 cents, and most stores are still gonna put them in bulk. Anyway, bye guys.